back to the channel. Today is a compost day, as you can probably tell if you're looking at this. Right, the job is empty the Daleks into the last bay at the end there. There are loads of peas here to pick, but if you see these, can you hear that? It's a bit papery. Leave a couple of them if you can, because let them dry out in the plant or take them home and dry them. That's your seeds for next year. You'll never have to buy pea seeds again. Yep, the snow peas are definitely coming to the end of their productive life and they'll be added onto the compost heap to help with more soil life and it's always a sad time for me it's like a 50 50 50 percent of me is sad it's like saying goodbye to an old friend you know they've given us a lot of food over the summer there's some in the freezer we've had a lot of meals and soups but 50 percent of me if i'm really honest is kind of glad because it means I am approaching the time when I can slow down and not have to do quite so much in the garden and that might sound lazy but it's honest. Sadly though the potatoes are not looking at their best. I'm going to have to start cutting these down. In other news, the beans are starting to appear. There's more down here. And it's like that with garden, isn't it? When one door closes, another one opens right in front of you. Well, a door you can cook and eat, if you know what I mean. May I also present to you my first proper broccoli in a couple of years? Oh, happiness is without a shadow. Yet, there are a couple, I mean, I always show you the disasters. That one's not great. I don't care about the shadow. And there's one over there which is looking worse, but still edible. So I'm going to cut all of them and take them. If you've been here before, you'll know I've spent quite a lot of time weeding this patch in the past. In fact, I think I've done it two, three times and they're appearing again and you know what I'm not going to do much about them just now because I've got too many other things to do and I think there comes a point when you have to decide am I harvesting am I tidying am I doing compost what am I doing right now I'm doing anything to put myself as far away from that as I can because it's a horrible job and I'm a bit sick of it already. One of the benefits of growing your own, no pesticides, no chemicals, no garbage, proper blueberries. Mm. Mm. If anybody asks, I'm quality control, it's okay. Some will make it home. Maybe not many. What? They're good for you. That's not a bad wee harvest. Take them home. Now no allotment visit would be complete without me giving you an update on dear old Lazarus. And here he is. He's actually growing. If you look really closely, 
here I believe will be a little cucumber. I'm really hoping we get some before the season finishes. Come on Lazarus, you can do it. In other news, aubergines continue to, you know, well these, they're growing, but are we ever going to get an actual aubergine? I don't know. Uh, remember the tomato I showed you last week? Still just got the one. <laughs> this is so pathetic. On the other side, they are showing flowers. There's a little bit of yellow. There's a lot of green. And no pig in red. Oh, there's a way to pick some of my chamomile. I saw this. What is it? I'm not very good at identifying bugs. I just know I don't like them. Right, I wanted you with me. I wanted to show you the first carrot that I'm going to pull out. If you've been here for a little while or you watched the video about how this all happened, because that is a saga. If you don't know, I'll try and put one of those little tags in the corner, left or right, I don't know. That's That calls for technical wizardry, but I'll do my best. But I spied this big one here. Hang on. Two here look quite good, but this here with the ant on it, get away. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Let's see what we get. Oh, please be good. Oh, look at that. Okay. It's not not the biggest carrot I've ever seen in my puff. Let's try this one. Sugar. That's a little better. Edible. Yeah. I always think nothing's a disaster in gardening if it's edible. Same as eating. I've got some onions beside them. I grew onions round. Again, they're not huge onions, but if they're edible, that's a success. So after a wee trip, we've got some blueberries, a little bit of herbs there, onions. I think they're like meant to be big onions. I take them as spring onions there. The other onions, which aren't huge anyway, but edible. A couple of carrots, broccoli, potatoes, peas and some beans. Not bad. So did I get it finished? Of course not. <laughs> to be continued. It's a big job and it was never going to be done in one visit. Next time, we do a little bit more. And I'll see you then.